that you want to show if when a field is blank, a different style of card. So for example, if I go to this card, put something in here, why um, it's going to change. It's going to show why, show the word, and then it's going to go back to that the sentence card format. But if I take it out, it's going to go to the vocab card format. What's up, YouTube? So I just recorded a video. While that video is getting exported, I figured I'd just show you what I'm doing for my deck. Currently right now, I ran into some issues with Jito Jishol, and the issue is, is that take a look at this card so as you can see I like having it as a sentence and then the word is covered here so I don't know which one um, it is I believe this one is Ajiwata uh, Ajiwal I get to see all of this when there's a sentence here so you can see sentence a hint section and then the hidden section there however what I've been doing recently is doing a lot of sentence mining from manga and since the scanner doesn't provide a sentence field every time I want to see the word I have to click it and then go above it and it's just I don't want to click each time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a conditional field and I'm gonna show you how I do that in this video okay so we're gonna go ahead and just jump into one of the flashcards let's see so I want to have it to where it looks like this when it is when there's a sentence but when there's no sentence I want it to just show the word so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the conditional fields for the expression. It's this here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this to there. Now we got the previous format. But if there's no sentence, um, and there's just vocab. Okay, so here's what I did to implement, implement the solution. What I did was just copy and paste what I had previously, um, which is the format that you see here. And then I put the conditional field here. So if there's something in sentence, it's going to show um, this format. Whereas if there is not something in sentence, it's gonna go ahead and show the uh, other format. So if I did it right, it should show you in one of these ones here. Let's go ahead, preview. So it should work as, as normal. So as you can see, um, I just have the word, it just automatically shows up. Um, and then if I go back to a sentence card, it'll show the sentence and the word's covered. Um, it looks like there is a little bit of a weird formatting thing going on though with uh, Jito Jishol, where it looks like it's putting something inside of the sentence field. If um, and Where it looks like there's a glitch that's happening that when there's nothing in the sentence field, as you can see, it's still providing the sentence um, formatting. So there might be some type of weird for uh, some weird hyperlink or HTML or there's something in there. But if I just backspace, then it fixes it. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I might have to do like a bulk edit, find like a bulk edit, um, and then just clear out all the sentences. But that is a way that you can set conditional formatting. If you want to have two different formats based on which fields are, you're going to want to use that. Um, you're going to want to use that. Um, uppercase little carrot in the case that um, that you want to show if when a field is blank a different sty style card so for example if I go to this card put something in here why um, it's gonna change it's gonna show why show the word and then it's gonna go back to that the sentence card format if I take it out it's gonna go to the vocab card format and in the case that your field too looks empty but you're also getting the weird little error that I had earlier, just go ahead and search up batch editing and Anki, I'll show you how you can just batch edit those fields to blank. You're gonna wanna go scroll all the way down, download this batch editor. Then you just wanna install this into your Anki. So go to tools, add-ons, get add-ons, paste that code here, click okay. Restart your Anki and you'll end up with uh, a batch edit. What you're gonna wanna do is just click the top of the cards you wanna edit and then the bottom by holding shift and you'll be able to select all those go to edit batch edit just leave this empty and then go to sentence field and then replace and you'll have all those fixed and so now all of the cards are good to go and so hopefully if you're trying to edit your flashcards this might help you out a little bit um, it's definitely something that I wanted to do that I've been trying to change for a while, but finally got around to it. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.